Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing the trio from the December FabFitFun box. And I just wanted to show you guys how these work. So you're gonna see kind of my thoughts in the video as I use the products, but we're gonna highlight those right here right now. I did receive the Thrive Cosmetics. This is a brilliant eye brightener in the color Stella. Basically, it's the same color as my foundation. So for me, I didn't find that this brightened or was something over the top that wowed me that I can't wait to purchase again. I think for someone that has darker skin than me, this would be a perfect color to brighten the eyes. But for me, it just kind of got lost. Now we're going to talk about the Bite Beauty. This color is in meringue. Beautiful, beautiful color. I've actually used this several times. It is just a great, perfect nude. It smells wonderful. It is so creamy. So for winter right now, this one is absolutely a staple. Again, the color is fantastic. It's creamy. The only thing that for me is hard is that it does come off on my coffee mug. So with any kind of overly creamy lip or lip gloss, you're going to get it transferring. So just a highlight there. Now, I did use the Pure Be Your Selfie palette, and as you can see, it has been used. We can say loved. Because I do love this palette. It's got a great size mirror. It is small, so it can travel with you, but the pan sizes are not skimpy or small. As far as the colors I use today, I use Pure, Natural, A Bit of Free, charming, alluring, strong, and confident. So I just kind of had fun building up colors. I have used this palette several times and I really like it. So as you can see, all the colors blend really well and make a very pretty eye. I think this eye is great for every day. You don't have to maybe go in with the eyeliner like I did if you want something a little bit lighter. But for me, it's kind of like drapes on a window. If I don't have eyeliner and mascara, just doesn't feel complete. But going back to the palette, I really like this palette. So the colors go on nice, they blend well, they just look pretty together. So if you haven't tried Pure, this might be one of the ones that you need to try first, the Be Your Selfie palette, because again, it just gives a really, really nice eye. I absolutely love this palette. It is, again, something that I've used several times. It's a great neutral palette, so you can kind of not have to really think about what your eye is going to look like. It just blends, and it's fantastic for everyday use. So I highly recommend that palette. I do want to thank FabFitFun for putting in some uh, additional makeup items. Normally, I don't see three makeup items. So it was really nice to be able to try some makeup items Fat Fit Fun would think was nice in their box. I absolutely enjoyed it. I hope you like this review using the three items from December Fat Fit Fun's box because I sure did. All right, let me know your thoughts, questions, anything below. Have you signed up for the Fat Fit Fun uh, subscription? Fun scription. It should be a fun scription. But if you haven't signed up, what's holding you back? I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. All right, y'all. Have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. The next video. item I got from FabFitFun that I really have enjoyed is this lipstick from Bite Beauty. The color is Meringue. What I like about this lipstick for winter is it's really creamy. So it kind of moisturizes your lips and that feels yummy. I've done some blush, some contour and darkened my eyebrows a bit. Now we're going to get into the next piece that FabFitFun put in the box for us. And that's the Pure Be Yourself palette and ignore the foundation bits on it. I might have used this a few times. I'm going to start out with the color Pure as a base all over the eyelid. And it smells pretty good. Next, we're going to use this color Natural. I think that peachy tone is a really nice transition color. I'm going to pick up the color here called Strong. 
These colors are blending really nice together and I like how they match with the lip, dusting away a little bit of fallout. Now I'm going to work on a partial cut crease. I'm going to pick up this color here called Charming. Basically, I put that almost on the inner quarter of the eye. Then I'm going to come to its buddy right next to it called Alluring. Ooh, mommy likes. I feel like my eyes have lost a little bit of the definition from the cut crease. So I'm going to pick up strong and this is on a pencil brush. These pencil brushes really help with small definition and I got this one from Makeup Geek in case you were wondering. Now I'm going to pick up the color free. On that same pencil brush, I'm going to pick up this color Confident for a pop of color. And I'm barely going to bring this up into the edge of the eye. Since I use the color Confident, which is kind of a purple, I'm going to pick up this purple from Marc Jacobs. This is called Grapevine. I'm going to grab some Sephora Waterproof gel liner. All right, eyeliner is on. Time for some mascara. Nothing like putting on mascara and stabbing yourself in the eye. Okay, makeup is finished and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair.